Hi, today we're going to be going over the Java solution for LeetCode 875. Coco eating bananas. Coco loves to eat bananas. There are n piles of bananas, the ith pile has piles i bananas, the guards have gone and will come back in h hours. Coco can decide her bananas per hour eating speed of k. Each hour, she chooses some pile of bananas and eats k bananas from that pile. If the pile has less than k bananas, she eats all of them instead and will not eat any more bananas during this hour. Coco likes to eat slowly but wants to finish eating all the bananas before the guards return. Return the minimum integer k such that she can eat all the bananas within h hours. So if we break apart what the problem is really asking us, um, let's look at example 1. So basically we can choose how fast um, we can eat or basically reduce down each element of the piles. And then we have to do it within about eight turns as it is right here. So here the output is four, that is the minimum value that allows us. So of course, if we went like 20, um, of course, if we did 20, then like um, in one move, we can eat three, in one move, we could eat six, in one move, we could eat seven, in one move, we could eat 11. We could eat all of them, so it would take us uh, four hours. Um, but we want the minimum. So in this case, it's four. So let's look by step by step. So um, in one move, we can eat all three. Um, and then this will take us two moves. Since in one move, it'll get reduced down to two. And then it takes one more move to eat the um, two remaining ones. And then for this one, it takes two again. And then for this one, it takes three. So if we add them all up, three plus two plus two plus one, that gets us eight. So it's basically just barely doing it at that time. If we went any lower, so let's say three, we wouldn't make it in time. So three, we could eat this all in one move. So that's one gone. Um, we could eat this in two. So that's two. Um, we could eat this in three. So that's three. And then we could eat this in four. So overall, that was more than eight hours. So she would have gotten caught. So we're for the strategy for this problem we're just gonna go back to grade school and basically do guess and check but we're gonna do basically educated guess and check so a faster way to do it we're gonna simulate through um what would it be like if we were to choose a random um integer k but we're gonna choose that um k value through binary search so for example um if we start off with something uh, for k that is way too high and we can easily finish it within the um, hours then we can reduce it down and then try to find the minimum value if it is too small and we can't do it we'll increase it up so we can um, actually accomplish the task um, so and also right here you can see that the piles.length is less than or equal to h, which is less than or equal to 10 to the 9th. So this means we'll always have a solution. There won't be a case where, you know, um, it's just that we don't have enough time. Because if it is as long as piles at the very least, then that means that we could just have it be um, equal to the max element and then eat up all of them. So that's basically the idea. Let's start implementing it and I'll explain along the way. So like binary search, we're going to have two values. So int i will set as 1. And then int j, we will set as integer dot max value. So again, we're like guessing and checking here. Um, for our lower bound, we have one because you can't eat zero um, bananas per hour. Um, if you could, then like there wouldn't be any point to it. And then for our upper bound, we have the max value, basically the quickest we could ever eat. So um, let's go through it. So while i is less than j. So again, we're going to keep simulating what it would be like if we had an int mid, which is i plus j minus i over 2. So we're going to keep simulating what it is like and basically check, okay, were we able to complete it? If we were, then we will um, decrease our upper boundary. If we weren't able to um, complete it, we'll um, increase our lower boundary. So at the end, we're going to be returning i because that's going to be our lower boundary. Um, so before we get started with the simulation um, we have our middle this is going to be basically what our k is what our k we are basically trying to figure out so in fact it might be better if i label this as k so this is our k um, also going through this we're going to need an int time keeping track of the time and then we can now go through um, i'll use int uh, x 
x is equal to zero, x is less than piles uh, length, x plus plus. So we're gonna simulate going through all the piles and then see how long it takes us to eat it. And then after that, after we've eaten it, we're gonna compare it. So if time was greater than uh, h, so that means it took way too long. So if the time it takes was too long, then we're gonna have to increase our lower boundary. So i is gonna equal mid plus one, else um, j is gonna equal mid in the other case where um, we were able to complete it within our time frame, which means we could try to see if how much smaller we can go. Um, so as we're going through this, um, number one, if piles of x is less th is less than or equal to our k, then that just means we could just increase our time since we could finish it all in one uh, hour or one step. Else, um, our time is actually going to increase by piles of x plus k minus 1 over uh, k. So why are we doing this? Um, well, this is basically a faster way to calculate how long it would take for us to basically eat up that whole um, element, I guess. The reason why we have to go through all this men mental gymnastics, or like this arithmetic that we're right here, is because um, with Java, usually like if you have um, a decimal, it's going to reduce it down and always round down. So for example, if we had a value of 2.99, even though it's very close to 3, it would, it would always um, round down and basically terminate back to 2. So that's why we have to go through this extra measure to basically get around that. So that is basically it. Let's see if it works. Um, okay, I cannot find symbol. Time is greater than h. Um, i is equal to mid. Ah, I was in the mindset of setting it to mid, so I'll just reduce this to k, um, since that is what we used as our uh, middle value for the binary search. Uh, great. Um, so now let's submit it. And there we go. So that was Coco eating bananas.